Hi, I'm Reedy from Bondi Rescue, and in my last episode of Good Meat, I swam up the Fitzroy River to speak to the farmers and find out how they were minimising their impact on the Great Barrier Reef. If you missed that episode, you can watch it here. But if you didn't, today I'm going to answer all those questions that you had on social media about that episode. I wanted to do this down at beautiful Bondi Beach, but unfortunately, a massive storm has hit, and so we're stuck inside the surf club. John Cranny wants to know, are most people in the catchment actively using these grazing practices to help the water systems? Great question, John. The latest reef report card has shown that 30% of farmers across the reef catchment area have adopted these practices. In the Fitzroy catchment, where we were, over 600 farmers have adopted these practices covering 2 million hectares. Jude's Picks wants to know, has there been a noticeable improvement to river reef health as a result of these changes? Also wondering how the farmers benefit from implementing these systems. Hashtag sustainable beef. Great question, Jude. The latest reef report card has shown that the water quality has improved thanks to what the graziers are doing on the land. Specifically, sediment load has been reduced by 11%, which is what I investigated in my first video. When it comes to the graziers, the farmers benefit by having healthier land and happier cows. Emily Casca wants to know three things. Do you think these practices are something that we should use Australia-wide to protect all waterways? And what was the most interesting part of your trip? Also, why no goggles when swimming? Firstly, the practices used on Dave and Adele's farm to protect the reef can be applicable for all of Australia's waterways and landscapes. So basically, matching cattle numbers to your land and improving ground cover are two key things to improving water quality wherever you are. The most interesting part of my trip would have to be meeting the farmers out there on the land and finding out that these improved farming methods are actually easier for the farmers and the cattle are happier. And why didn't I wear goggles? Well, they build us tough over here in Bondi and we don't need to wear goggles when we swim. That's all the questions that we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to watch more videos, click over here. And if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comment section below. See you later. Every time I'm about to talk, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Oh, now she's gone really bad.